All right, Ingrid, I will turn it over to you. Hi, my name is uh, Ingrid. I won't, uh, my surname is French, it's Le Coultre. Uh, I work at Han University of Applied Sciences in the Netherlands, and um, I'm, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what it would be like for you to do an exchange um, on our campus in Arnhem in the Netherlands. Well, I think I need to request control. Yeah. Oh, there we are. Got it. Thanks. Okay. As I said, I'm from Han University of Applied Sciences in the Netherlands. Um, officially, we are a kingdom, which means we have a royal family, and we became a kingdom in 1815 when we defeated Napoleon. Um, so, officially, we're the kingdom of the Netherlands. Uh, as you can see, we are situated in Western Europe. Uh, we're a, quite a small country. Um, to give you an idea, to travel from the tip of the north to the tip of the south of the country, it takes only four hours by car. And from uh, The Hague uh, on the coast, on the west coast, to Germany, it's another just over two hours. So it's a very small country, especially when you compare it to the United States. Um, but we are quite densely populated. We have um, 18 million inhabitants. Um, a lot of our land is reclaimed. Um, so you may have heard of polders. Um, and they are protected from the water from the sea um, by dikes. And about a quarter of our uh, land is below sea level. Um, it's very easy to get around in the Netherlands. Also, um, other parts of Europe, um, we have a very good public transport system, so buses, trains, trams, uh, metro systems in the bigger cities. Um, and it's also easy to travel to other parts of Europe, um, either by plane or by train. Um, and we're actually considered the gateway to Europe because a lot of trade comes through our port, uh, port of Amsterdam, uh, Rotterdam. It's one of the largest ports in the world. Um, and also through Amsterdam Schiphol Airport, um, where a lot of transfers take place as well. As I said, we're a kingdom, so we have a royal family. This is the royal family. Um, they are called the House of Orange. Um, so even though our flag is red, white and blue, the national colour is orange. So if you ever watch a football match um, with um, the Dutch national team, they'll be dressed in orange. Uh, our king is called uh, King Willem Alexander, and he became king in 2013 when his mother abdicated. And his wife is actually from Argentina, so they're a little bit exotic. Uh, because we're such a small country, very we are very uh, internationally oriented. Um, so we do a lot of international trade. That's our main. Um, means of, of our, our biggest eco economical um, sector is international trade. And as such, a lot of people speak um, French or German and um, everyone speaks English, especially the younger generation. Because we're quite a flat country and um, some parts of the Netherlands are a little bit hilly, but most of um, the country is flat. So everybody tends to bike everywhere, which is a very cheap way to get around. Um, um, and also because we're such a small country, we love to travel abroad. So to give you an idea um, how quick it is to get to other parts of Europe, um, Paris is only three hours by train um, and London and Berlin are also quite close. Right, a little bit about the university. We have uh, two campuses, one in the city of Arnhem and one in the city of Nijmegen. Um, we have four disciplines, um, so business management and law, education, engineering and health and social studies. And in total, we have about 34,000 students spread over the two campuses. Um, I only work for the International School of Business, and that is also the um, school that has the agreement with um, Wisconsin Stout. So this would be the school that you would be joining if you came to study with us. Uh, first, a little bit about Arnhem. Arnhem is situated in the uh, on the eastern border of uh, the Netherlands. 
as you can see, we're very close to Germany. It's about 20, uh, 20 minutes to get to Germany from Arnhem. Uh, we have a lot of German students that study with us as well, and uh, they tend to live in Germany and, and commute to study with us. Uh, we're the capital of the province of Gelderland, so we have 12 provinces, and Gelderland is um, in the east, well, sort of a bit in the middle, in the east. Um, we are only about an hour from Amsterdam, so to, to get from Arnhem to Amsterdam by train is an hour, so it's, it's um, very close. We are a medium-sized uh, city, so we have 157,000 inhabitants of which uh, 10,000 are students. Uh, we have two other universities in our city as well. So it's not just our, um, our students. Um, Arnhem is well known in, the, uh, in World War II. In World War II uh, one of the um, most famous battles took place here. It was called Operation Market Garden. It was not a success. It was quite a, um, a disastrous um, battle. But um, they did make a film of it, and it's called A Bridge Too Far, so you may have seen that, or you may want to take a look at it. It gives you an idea of, um, of the country as well. Okay, uh, just to give you an idea of what Arnhem looks like, um, this is the shopping, uh, sort of a typical shopping street. It's car-free, so it's, uh, all our shopping streets are car-free zones, and we have a lot of uh, restaurants and um, bars that have uh, terraces outside. When the weather's nice, the Dutch love to sit outside. Uh, in the area, we also have a national park um, where you can go cycling. Um, they have free bicycles that you can take at the entrance and then you can go cycling for the day. And we also have quite a lot of uh, parks in the, in the city. So we're, we're quite a, a green city. Um, Culture, uh, we have some museums that are quite interesting to visit. This one is uh, Krilla Miller Museum and it's actually situated in the National Park. So you can combine some nature with some culture. It's also easy to get there by public transport. So it's um, traveling is there is not a problem. This is a photograph of the open air museum. So that gives you an idea of um, how the Dutch lived in um, the past centuries. And this is actually a photograph of um, the Airborne Muse National Airborne Museum, which is a museum about the Second World War. And as I mentioned, a bridge too far. This is a photograph from the from the film. Um, this is actually a bridge in Arnhem, and they tried to uh, capture the bridge from the Germans, and it was a little. Yeah, it didn't actually work out as they had planned. Right to get to the exchange programs. Um, we have a semester program uh, within the School of Business, so you can either come and study with us for one, one or two semesters. Um, if you don't want to go abroad for a full semester, we also offer a winter school and a summer school, uh, which are each three weeks. So the winter school is in January and the summer school in June, July. Uh, we have two courses. The one is European Culture, Business and Entrepreneurship, which is offered twice. And we have uh, Supply Chain Management, which is actually only offered in summer. Right. Uh, well, what can you expect if you come to study with us? Um, firstly, some practical information. If you're a non-European citizen, so if you're an American citizen, for example, um, you'll need a residence permit. If you are, for example, if you have Mexican citizenship, you'll also need an entry visa, but that's uh, all applied for by our university for you in advance. So um, you only have to provide us with some documents and we will do the rest. The main airport um, is Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. And once you get there, it's very easy to catch a train to Arnhem. The train station is right at the airport. Uh, usually, uh, we will have students at the airport uh, showing you the way, um, but I also will send you instructions on how to get to Arnhem. Um, as I said, public transport is a um, public transport system is very good. Um, so train, buses, trams, but also cycling is a, a good way to get around. Um, once you get to Arnhem, all our exchange students live together in the same building. So making friends is actually very easy. Um, everyone is in the same situation. So no, most people don't know anyone. So it's very, very easy to make friends once you get there. Um, 
hospital, we have two hospitals in Arnhem and obviously uh, um, doctors are uh, nearby as well. So um, health care is, is very well organized. Uh, we don't actually have a big campus such as you are used to, I think, in the United States. Um, so our sports facilities are not on campus, but we do have Arnhem sports, uh, student sports, and they have um, discounts for students. So you can buy a, a student card, uh, a student sports card, and you can do all sorts of sports um, at a discount. Uh, we have a, a, an international um, community as well within the business school, and they also organize uh, all sorts of free sports like basketball and badminton regularly. This is a photograph of part of our campus um, in Arnhem. Something that's quite common um, within universities of applied sciences is that we have small classrooms, so um, lectures are not in huge uh, lecture theatres usually, but in smaller classrooms of about 25 to 30 students. Um, in our building, we have uh, a multimedia centre, so you can uh, where you can get books and all sorts of other um, media information that you need for your classes. We have an IT um, help desk, so if you have any problems with your laptop, uh, connecting to the Wi-Fi, etc., you can uh, visit them and they can help you out. Um, we have a cafeteria in our building and there are cafeterias in, in actually all the buildings on campus. We have uh, on our campus in Arnhem, we have uh, four, uh, no, five buildings and all of them have a cafeteria. Um, and we also have a, a campus cafe and a campus shop where you can buy your um, syllabi and um, anything that you need for your studies. Um, before lectures start, we organize an internet, uh, international introduction. So um, all the exchange students, but also all the international students that we welcome on campus um, will join the introduction. We also have uh, Dutch buddies that um, can help you show you around, ask, answer any questions you may have. Uh, during your studies with us, we, you will have an academic coordinator. Um, she's also the study coach, so if you have any academic problems, but also if you're struggling personally with, for example, homesickness, um, she can help you as well. Um, if she's not able to help you, if this problem is a little bit more serious, then we have student counsellors and psychologists on campus as well. If you are, for example, dyslexic, uh, dyslexic or have any other um, study uh, aid, need any other study aids, then we can arrange that for you as well. Uh, this is, these are just some photographs of uh, of our building. So this is what a, 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 a classroom would look like. Um, it's all relatively informal. You very interactive. Um, so the sessions are usually very interactive with your lecturer. This is the campus shop where you can buy your syllabi and um, things that you need for your studies. This is a the ground floor of our building and as you as you can see there are some we call them floating rooms where you can um, meet with your fellow students to work on projects. And this is the multimedia center. Um, this is a photograph of our cant uh, cafeteria and the hangar is um, is a campus um, cafe where you can chill out with your friends. OK, so the semester program, um, we have two options. One is to design your own program. Uh, you can select any of the modules that are shown here, and most students uh, select four. That would be a normal study load. Uh, part of our international business program also has um, some electives that you can choose from. So this is a separate exchange program and then the electives, uh, you can add electives if you wish as well, if it fits into your schedule. So basically you can see we have uh, marketing, um, Dutch culture and language if that interests you, um, some European integration, we have some event management, uh, law, logistics, we're quite strong on logistics um, at our university. Um, but we also have other programs, so we offer two full degree programs in English, uh, communication and international business. 
it is possible to do a full semester within one of these programs. Um, the only restriction is that you don't have the choice of modules that you take. You have to do the full semester program. We have a bit of a strange scheduling uh, system, so it makes it difficult to um, to choose between um, different semesters. Um, so if you do want to do one of these two, it'll be uh, necessary to do the full semester. Uh, for international business, we have specializations, uh, finance, uh, uh, marketing and sales, organization and change, and supply chain management. We also have two other semester programs. We call them minors. Um, our students are also able to follow those. Um, one is Asian studies, doing business in China, and the other one is Latin American business studies. Those are also uh, full semester programs with um, a set program. Uh, when you come and study with us for a semester, we will guarantee your accommodation. Um, we don't own the accommodation, but we do have an agreement with um, various organizations that rent out student rooms. Uh, this is a photograph of uh, the accommodation that our students normally stay in. Um, you would stay in a shared apartment, but would have your own bedroom. So you would share with about two or three other students, uh, share a kitchen, um, a bathroom and uh, there's usually a, um, a communal sitting room as well. Uh, as you can see, we don't work with meal plans. We are only self catering, so you can cook your own meals and which makes it also as expensive as you want it to be. So you, you don't have to uh, buy a meal plan. Uh, all, ex all the exchange students live together, so you'll only be living with international students. And the accommodation is in the city centre, so it's easy to walk into town uh, and also to walk to the train station or the bus station. So it's literally two minutes away. Now, to get to campus from your accommodation, you can either uh, come by train, which is about five minutes, or by bus, which is about 15 minutes, um, or you can cycle to campus, which is also about 15 minutes. Here are some photographs of the accommodation. So this is the, the, this, the building. Um, and this is one of the corridors, and here you'll see um, the communal section with a kitchen and sort of a sitting room, the bathroom, and this is this typical bedroom. There are various sizes, so some are more expensive than others, depending on the size of the room. And they are fully furnished, as you can see, um, just the bedding you would have to provide yourself. Uh, student life, um, we have quite an active international student association and they organize all sorts of events uh, from guest speakers to trips to other parts of Europe, uh, social events. Um, at the end of each semester we have a gala, so in the summer we have a boat gala because Arnhem is situated on the River Rhine. So um, the gala is uh, organized on a river boat um, in the summer. And then in the winter, we have um, it in a, in a um, usually in a theater or some other uh, building in, in Arnhem. Most of our socializing happens off campus. So because we don't have a very large campus, uh, all the socializing happens in the city center. So this is um, a photograph of the Kordemarkt, which is where most of the clubs, uh, restaurants, uh, terraces are situated. Right, then we have, a, as I mentioned, we have a three week uh, summer and winter school. Um, we work with small groups, so you would normally have a maximum of 25 students. It's very hands on, very practical. Um, you do uh, group projects. Uh, you also get a lot of personal coaching. And we do company visits as well as part of uh, the course. The summer is in June, July, and the winter course will be in January. Now, because of uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, we're actually not having our winter, uh, winter school next January, but have postponed it to uh, 2022. Hopefully the summer school will continue. Uh, the total wor uh, uh, workload for uh, the winter and summer school is 100 hours, so you would spend about 75 hours uh, on campus um, and doing company visits, and the other 25 you will be working on your projects. This is the um, 
one short uh, short course that we have European culture business and entrepreneurship so you have obviously some European culture you would have some business uh, workshops lectures um, and then there's also a, a lot of attention for personal skills like um, communica communication skills personal branding entrepreneurial skills and presentation skills there's a it's it's a very personal interactive course um, and you get to know your fellow students very well, and also your lecturers. The other summer school that we organize is called Supply Chain Management. That's more logistics based. Um, you don't actually have to have uh, a lot of background in logistics. But you should have an interest in logistics. Um, so you get uh, workshops, lectures, also from guest lecturers. Uh, you do some company visits, so you go to the Port of Rotterdam, you may go to the Royal uh, Flora Holland Flower Auction, which is very famous. Um, and as throughout the uh, whole three week program, you'll work on a case study and then present it at the end. Uh, so it's a full time um, course, both courses are full time, but on weekends, obviously, you're free. Uh, we do organize um, trips on weekends, which you can join if you want to, but you can obviously also do some traveling on your own. So you can either stay in the Netherlands or you can travel to other parts of Europe. Um, the one winter we had, uh, we organized a skiing trip to Germany, which is about two hours drive. Um, and the students really loved that. You don't have to be able to ski to do that. The accommodation for our short courses uh, is different. Uh, you don't stay in the student accommodation that we normally have for the semester students because um, our students are still uh, are still there when when the courses take place. So we don't have any space, but we uh, we make use of a, a bed and breakfast in the city centre, which is just actually just up the road from the student accommodation and right near the uh, train station. Um, and we have a youth hostel which is uh, slightly outside the centre of the city, um, but they're very nice surroundings and sort of um, uh, in the middle of the of, of, of an, um, a, a very green area. Put that way. Okay, uh, these are the costs that you can you should expect to. Um, make for a, a semester exchange program. I've actually put the dollars, uh, the amounts in dollars in brackets to give you an idea of what it would probably cost you per month. Um, as you can see, the, the visa residence permit is a set price that changes every semester. So that um, is an indication. So you would have to work on about twelve hundred euro uh, dollars per month uh, for about um, the program is usually five months. And for the summer winter school, um, if you study with us on the basis of exchange, you don't pay tuition, so you would pay uh, $1,800, which will include everything except your meals during the day. So um, it, it includes your accommodation, it includes transport to and from the airport, uh, transport to campus on weekdays, so we, uh, we organize a public transport card for you so that you can come to campus by bus. It also includes all the excursions and visits during the week. Uh, we organize a welcome meal and uh, a farewell meal at the end of the course. And we also organize health and liability insurance for you. So that's all included in the $1,800. And then you should budget on, depending on how much you spend on about $24 a day for meals. Um, the accommodation doesn't really have self catering uh, facilities, so you would have to go out for meals, but there are some very cheap restaurants um, in the area. Okay, um, I'm going to try and play the video. I don't know if it will work. I am not hearing anything. Is it 
playing on your end? Sorry? Is it playing on your end? It's playing on mine. Oh, so it's not playing on your end? No. Okay. No, that, that happened the, the last time as well. So I'll just sure. skip that one. But um, I'll send you the link. It's Perfect. on YouTube. And it's on our website as well. So I'll send you the link to the, to the video. Perfect. Okay. Excuse me? Yeah? This is Mark. Um, I'm not sure what you were just talking about. I was able to view it on my laptop by clicking the play button. Oh, if you click on the play button. Okay. Yeah, oh. so I so you can view it yourselves. Um, if it's not working for you, it'll it, it it did come on for me. So. Okay. Okay. Well, then I can I'll play it over here and see if it takes on the recording. Okay. Thanks, Mark. You betcha. All right, Ingrid, I'll give it a play here. I'll let you know when we're done. Okay. All right, so we've reached the end of the video. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, I'll plug into the next slide. Well, that was the only other slide I had. <laughs> so if you um, want to check out all the information about the exchange programs, you can go to our website, honuniversity.com. And if you click on exchange programs or short courses, you'll find all the programs um, that, we, that we offer. Obviously, you're a, you're a more than welcome to send me an email on incoming.business at home.nl or you can send me a WhatsApp message if you want uh, via this telephone number. Uh, thank you for your attention and um, well, obviously if you have any questions, you're welcome to send me uh, a message. Thank you, Ingrid. So I will also um, put up the information for our study abroad team. So if after viewing this video, um, you have any questions or want to set up an appointment to discuss um, your options for study abroad, the best way to do that is using um, the information on screen right now. Um, you can click on the Ask an Advisor in the Canvas Virtual Study Abroad Fair, or you can schedule an appointment using our Office of International Education online booking app.